I'm Jeff. I'm a professional property investor based in Northampton. I run a half a million pound business specializing in rent to HMO. Today, I'm going to talk about a few of the basics of this strategy. Let's get into it. So what is rent to rent HMO? HMO stands for house in multiple occupation. And what this means is it's basically a house share. What we do is we take a whole house and we divide it into rooms and rent the rooms out separately. And the great thing about this is that we can maximize our rental income. Say for example, you were going to buy a normal house. Say it costs 200,000 pounds. If you were buying this house as a business, you would have to come up with a 25% deposit in order to purchase this house. I'll ask you, how long would it take you to save up 50,000 pounds in order to buy that house? Two years, five years, 15 years? It would take me a long time. The beautiful thing about rent to rent is that you do not need to wait in order to invest. You can rent a house from a landlord who's already running it as an HMO. And when we do this, we can spend much less money, say maybe 5,000 pounds on one project. Now for your 50,000 pounds that you would have spent on a deposit, how many rent to rent deals could you do if they each cost 5,000 pounds? Well, you could do 10 and you could cash flow 10 houses all at once in a short amount of time and not have to wait decades. So that is one of the main reasons we got into rent to rent ourselves. Now you might want to know a little bit more about how a shared house works. Uh, a shared house is co-living. Uh, people are gravitate to this sort of arrangement for many reasons. Tenants like, especially, uh, especially single tenants who are professionals, they like to live in a community. Um, it gives them a social outlet. It saves some money on bills. It's a very convenient way to live because as the rent to rent landlord, we handle all the bills for them. It's a great way for them to start out in life or to simplify. So we'll take a house, maybe five up to eight bedrooms and we'll give it a light refurb. And we vet our tenants. We get groups of people who gel. They really work together in a cohesive kind of community. They share the common spaces like the living room, the kitchen, the garden, and um, the rest is up to them how they do things in the house. It's a great way for professionals to live in a simple way. Now you might be wondering, why would the owner of an HMO want to do business with us? Because after all, they've already gone through the trouble of setting up and getting licensing and probably buying furniture and, and decorating. Well, there are many reasons why a landlord would want to do a deal with rental renters like us. And I'll give you a couple of examples in my experience of people who like our model. One of our clients is a retired gentleman. He's got a small portfolio. He's done business in other countries in his life. He's been there and done that but he doesn't want to have issues with houses and tenants and he doesn't want to be bothered by it. He prefers to meet up with his friends in the pub, play badminton and spend time with his family and basically enjoy his freedom. And he absolutely loves the fact that we take care of all of the problems for him and provide him with a guaranteed income each and every month. He has grown to become a friend and uh, whenever we meet up to chat, we don't even talk about property. We just talk about what's going on in life. Another one of our clients is a more sophisticated investor. Uh, he owns an estate agency in London and has a sizable personal portfolio of his own. Even if he lived nearby to the property that we manage for him, he still nonetheless would not want to manage it because he has other projects that he is working on. So he loves the fact that we are professional. We keep his house compliant and we manage all the tenants and keep it all in good order for him. 
essentially what we do is rent to rent investors is that we take care of people and properties and the investors who are involved. So for all of you finance minded people out there, you might be wondering how do the numbers stack in a deal like this? Well, I'll give you an example of one of our projects. Uh, this is a larger HMO, has eight bedrooms, and it cash flows about 4,500 pounds in tenant income every month. The guaranteed rent we provide to the owners is 2,800 pounds. Uh, add bills on top of that, another 700, and we're left with about a thousand pounds profit each and every month. Now, the great thing is that securing this deal only cost us about four grand. Uh, and the reason for that was the owners had already just recently furnished the place and it was beautifully renovated. So that is an example of how you can earn 12,000 pounds a year with just 4,000 in. It's an amazing strategy. In essence, our job is to take care of the properties and take care of the tenants. We are there to create safe, affordable living for tenants and to remain compliant. I hope you enjoyed this little snippet about my experience doing rent to rent HMO.